Hey everyone, in this tutorial, I'm going to go over the ad tracker side of Hexatrack. What ad tracker allows you to do is spy on your competition. It allows you to monitor their keywords, their advertisements over a certain amount of time and find out which ones have longevity and are profitable. To start, we're going to put a seed keyword in the spot right here. I'm going to track the keyword or the market microphone over 21 days. We'll start the new project. Hexatrack is going to dig into that keyword and bring back a bunch of relative keywords related to microphone. It's going to bring back 200 in this example. And I'm going to choose in my free version up to 50 of those. The pro version, you can choose up to 100 to monitor. For this example, I'm just going to select a handful and save changes. Hexatrack will save the project and begin monitoring those six keywords. It automatically brings back the approximate cost per click, clicks per day, and daily spend for each one of those keywords that's an average. I created another project a few days ago so I could get some data into this account. And that project is credit report. That's the keyword that I dug into. So let's go see what kind of data is in that project. We are now in the credit report project and I'm going to give you a quick rundown of what you see up here. The project status is that we started it. It shows you that we started on the 7th and it's going to end on the 28th. It's going to run for nine days and uh, it's running for nine days rather out of 22. If you ever want to delete the project, you go into controls, click on delete project and this will effectively cancel it out of our system. So what are we seeing below here? We have a list of all the keywords that are monitoring all 50 of them and from this top level view we could see which ones are probably the best that we want to check out so we have a prof profitability score which I'll get into in a second you can see the number of affiliates our system has a handful of URLs that we that we know are affiliate programs and it matches those URLs with the URLs that are being advertised on if there's a match it selects that as an affiliate link you can also select that manually. I'll also show that in a second. You'll see the daily spend, the cost per click, uh, clicks per day, search volume, advertiser competition, and ads that are being run in uh, that keyword. What is important here to know, and I can't overstate this enough, is that this data is a basic measure. It is not an exact science. We're pulling this from Google directly and it's a good gauge again not an exact science so take that to heart in this example I'm gonna choose the top keyword here it's credit report we see that it has a lot of traffic uh, cost per cost per click is about fourteen dollars at the very top position that's that's where we're pulling data from Google it's at the very top position so I'm gonna click that and it's gonna bring bring back all the ads that are in that uh, keyword that are being run in for the for that keyword rather so we see a list of these ads we have the average position the number of days this particular ad was run and the URL if you see the if you go to the landing page here which is freecreditreport.com you can check to see if this is actually an affiliate link this does not appear to be one if uh, you see one you can mark it as one um, these are all like this could be an affiliate link you could probably check so you might want to check that as an affiliate just so you know which ones are affiliate links that you might want to consider running by looking at this you can sort by number of days an ad was run to to gauge the ones that you know are obviously profitable if they're running for a number of days chances are they're making money so freecreditreport.com has been running there for nine days at the very top position very likely they're doing well and making money otherwise they wouldn't be spending fourteen dollars a click so let's take a look at the information we get by clicking on one of these ad groups the first thing that you're gonna see is a profitability score the profitability score is measured by position daily spend cost per click and clicks per day it's an algorithm, an algorithm that we put together that is a basic gauge on profitability. So one thing we can't factor into that is 
the return on a particular program that you're running. So again, this is a decent gauge, but not an exact science. And it is a good indicator of how well this keyword will convert. Obviously, it's, uh, you know, credit report is, uh, you know, it's a broad, broad keyword and it brings a lot of traffic. And if marketed properly, it is very profitable. Another thing that you're going to see is the ad group or the URL that's displayed and the ad group destination URL. Below that, we have the average position, daily spend, cost per click, clicks per day, the unit variations, and total keywords that freecreditreport.com is running on. Here's a great way to find other keywords they are bidding on. You know they're making money, and you could potentially go after each one of these keywords. So Hexatrack does the work of finding other keywords that are profitable for you. If you want to see the ads that are being run, you simply click on the keyword and Hexatrack will display the ad variations that freecreditreport.com has run. This is really powerful because they're actually split testing for you. You know what copy is going to work. This is really powerful. So that's pretty much it. I mean, obviously the credit report market is highly competitive. There's a lot of money in it and it's not an easy easy market to tackle by any stretch but you can see with these tools it'll give you a great indication of what you could expect to spend what kind of challenges you're going up against and um, it's a really really powerful tool for you to use i hope this was helpful i'll see you in the next tutorial